guys, I'm gonna show you how to create a Java project that gonna have two classes and one of them is gonna be the main class, gonna have public static void main and inside inside of this public static void main we're gonna create the object of another class and gonna call a method from that object. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning. I'm gonna open the idea. I'm gonna create a project. If you if you're working on if you don't want to create a project, you always can continue with the same project. I have a few of the other projects here, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click new project. I have older version 2020, 2020 so you may have a different um, view, but make sure it's not Maven, make sure it's not Gradle, it's just a Java or it's its idea, IntelliJ idea or Java over here and then click next and then click next click um, a few classes okay that's the name that I came up with you can name few classes spin career I don't know something else it's taking some time keep an eye on the bottom it's showing the loading that's why it's that's why it's it's not ready once it's done over here you're gonna have a project window open over here and you need to expand you always can expand and hide expand and hide this is uh, something you can click and open open and close it okay so right button on the uh, src file src right button select new and then java class if you choose another folder or another location to create a class not gonna give you the option for the class so make sure it's in the src right button new and java class okay so like here i'll call it as a main it's not important what is going to be the name but it is important that it is capitalized starting from the high capital all the classes in java starts from the high capital so that's the main okay so in inside of the brackets i'm adding the a line of code and writing public static void main hitting the enter I have this first executable method that has the triangle to execute inside you see the indention for for spaces from the public right so inside of the method I'm writing I'm writing s out just for the you know for testing purposes hello okay doesn't matter what I'm gonna write there so run it and I want to make sure that it's working so that's the first step I want to make sure it's whatever I am working on it's it's work right so I can continue so it's working I'm gonna continue okay perfect so I'm gonna create another class so I have created this one main inside of SRC why I'm not seeing that in here because it is inside of SRC see you can open and close open and close so I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on this SRC so it's highlighted not here not here not here not not there but in the SRC I click on that and click right button click new Java class okay I'm gonna create a city class I have a city class I have the main class you see the difference main class has a triangle okay for the city I'm gonna create a method I'm gonna show the method uh, print city name Okay, I'm gonna show that method. Uh, this method gonna gonna print the city name. So for that, inside of any class, all the methods should have um, return value. So if it's nothing returning, then it's void, right? If you want to be this method available outside of the class, you want to put as a public. At the beginning, for the students, it's better to use public always. But there, then learning more and more you can use other access modifiers so bub public void um, print city's name keep an eye it's not static it has public void print city so we're not gonna call like static we're gonna create an object of the city class okay let's create an object so i'm gonna add a line here i'm gonna write something like this city that's the name of the class then the name of my variable we call it object if it's object of the class it's gonna be the object name uh, my city object okay you can name like okay I don't know X then this is the very important keyword new so meaning that you're gonna create a new object of the city so that's also gonna 
by default a uh, constructor of the city. In Java constructor, you can create an empty constructor or you can keep as right now without the constructor because default constructor in Java is empty constructor. You don't need to worry about that. So let's keep it as simple as possible. So this is my object now. So I'm gonna hit the enter. I'm gonna try to see what methods do, does this object of the city class actually has. So I'm gonna click dot over here and I see that by default this print city name is available. I'm gonna click on that. So the print city name, I can actually click on the control or the command key keyboard. I'm gonna see, go and jump inside of it. That's really convenient. So you can see over here, uh, I'm adding the four lines, four, four tops, four, not the tops, four uh, indention. I'm adding the indention four spaces, you see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna write S out. I'm gonna add uh, San Diego because I am original, like I'm original, not originally, but I'm from San Diego. Diego, okay. So nice. I want to execute this project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna execute the main class. Uh, if I want to run the class or if I want to run just a method, this is for the method, this is for the class. Let's just for fun execute the whole class. Click over here. I'm gonna do that. It doesn't matter guys, which one you choose. Okay, it shows Helcoi San Diego. So now let's do the debug. Okay, I'm do that debug. So the system out printer LAN, that's the first line. In the console you will see Helcoi, right? Then I'm gonna create a, a new object, right? Right now, this object, it's not created, but in the second, and over here, right now, it's already created, right? So this, this object is already exists because the, the execution happening over here in line number five. So in the line number five, I want you guys to follow me. So I'm gonna jump inside of this method without executing that, okay? So right now we are here, going back, so I'm gonna do the step over, step over. Now we still haven't printed anything. We just executed this method of the city, of the object, my city object X that is based on the city class, okay? We are inside of the print city name and we are doing that system on print land right now. I'm gonna do the step over, step over, and the last step over, that's it. Helcoy San Diego. That's how we created the two classes okay in the same src directory in the same package and from the public static void main we created an object of the city class and called a method print city name thank you